Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is Pastor Wayne Jonathan Manning from the Omega Church International Ministry located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We would like to introduce you to our new book, Obama the Great. We believe that the black horseman of Revelation chapter 6 is here and has come to balance the American economy. Bless God. This is one book that you need to read this year. Give us a call at 954-773-4444 to obtain a copy. The copy of the book is free. Just send a shipping in England. God bless you and would like to invite you to our church on Sunday. Today. Forget those things. Forget those things. Forget it. Forget it. Touch your neighbor and say, forget it. Come on. Touch your neighbor. Neighbor, forget it. Come on. Neighbor, forget it. Forget it, neighbor. Come on. Come on. You're not doing it. Are you afraid to do it? The neighbor, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Now the Holy Ghost himself can get you to move forward. Why? Because you're holding on to the old. And by holding on to the old, you have a new thing is about to happen. God is about to give you new wine, new opportunity. God is about to blow your mind, but you're still holding on to the old. And then not only do we hold on to the old, we have a, a repetition of doing the same old thing even as we move forward. Over and over and over. So, so God is trying to encourage all of you today. It's time for you to let go of the old. And you know what? I cannot help you to let go of the old. This is something that only you and you and you and you and you and you alone can do. I know sometimes that it's hard to let go of the old. Amen. Because you become comfortable. The Bible calls it what? Your comfort zone. And you're so accustomed of it that it's so hard for you to let go of it. And as a result of that, while, when you hold on to it, you cannot get to breakthrough. You cannot get a healing. You cannot get your deliverance because you choose, not God, you choose to hold on to the old. But today God will encourage somebody to let go of the old. I'll encourage you a few things that you ought to hold on to. Number one, I thought about my wife all the time. Listen, you must come to that place where you learn to appreciate people that are doing good in your life. Are you still here with me? You see, too often we wait until the person has died and is lying there in a casket. You ought to talk to the person for 20 years, but you heard he's dead, but now you're coming and bringing roses to his casket. I think if the dead could get up and slap some of us in the face, I think we would have changed that erroneous idea a long time ago. See, somebody step on your toe, you carry a grudge for how many years? 20 years. And it makes you sick because you gave them the power to make you sick. You gave away your authority to make you feel bad. And you're feeling bad and you want to feel better, but you're giving them the authority over you. Don't give away your authority to people that despise you. Don't give away your authority to people that hate you. Don't give away your authority to people that want to hurt you. Hold on to your dignity and your pride. Are you here with me today? Saints, life is too short. Today we're here, tomorrow we're gone. Okay? So I'm telling you today, don't carry no grudges. Let go of old stuff. You see, we can bury things at the feet of Jesus Christ. The Bible talks us, he said, let go and let God. Let me tell you something. If I should stop and think about all the people that I have hurt indirectly, accidentally, I would never be able to move forward. But if people that I have hurt accidentally, I say, God, I am sorry that I hurt so-and-so accidentally, but Lord, I'm not going to hold myself in captivity because I know you have something in the future for me, so I'm going to let go of this mess and look to my future. Are you here with me today? You see, so begin to tell people that you appreciate the good that they're doing in your life. Too often, we don't tell people that love us that we appreciate what they're doing for us. And we wait until they're dead. 
You know, there's an old phrase on the island that said, Donkey never know the use of his tail. <laughs> Until he lost it. It's a simple truth of encouragement today. And the fly comes and he doesn't know how to find it anymore. So we become sometimes when we hold on to yesterday. None of us can do nothing about the old. But God wants to begin to give you new things, new hope, new dream, new health, new prosperity, new blessing. So let go of the past. Look, so often we think it's the devil doing it, but it's not the devil, it's God. God's word said, I know the thoughts I have for you, thoughts of good and not of evil. Are you receiving this today? Yes. Are you still wanting to jump up and down or you want to listen to the teaching? Yes. Watch it. Too often, the things happen in our life, and guess what we do? We ban the devil, blame the devil, lie on the devil, Amen. send the devil back to where he came from. You think it's the devil doing it? It's God trying to get us to just let go of the hole. Yes. And we hold on to the hole and we're praying to God, God, help me to hold on to the hole. Yes. But God is saying, no, it's time for you to move forward, let go of the old and begin to do what? Embrace the new. Yes. 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 Look and understand, the only thing that old that you should hold on to is those people that have blessed you and encouraged you. Yes. Those people that are there for you. Those people that are supporting you. Those people that are popping you on the back. Those people that are pushing you and telling you it's all right. Those people that are pushing you and say, man, I know you can do it. Those people that say, I'm in your car. Those people that say, I know that God is going to come through for you. Those people that are saying, yes, your breakthrough is coming. Hold on to that. 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 But every other negative thing, let it go. Now, preacher man, how do I let it go? How do I let go of the old? It's simple. And if you listen to me for a minute longer, you'll get it. You have to make a choice. Touch your neighbor and say choice. Come on, touch your neighbor and say choice. What choice are you going to make, say? You're going to make the choice to say, you know what? What well, Wayne Johnson Manning is telling me today, you know, that's nothing but the God Almighty truth. I'm going to begin to do something about me. Are you there with me? Say, I'm going to begin to do something about me. What do you do? You make a choice. Say, people are designed to drive you crazy. You got two ears, do you? Yeah. One on the right, one on the left. The reason why God gave you the two ears is so you can take something in here. You don't like it? Spit it out. Are you still here with me today? Now, this is what we do. We heard this, we don't like it, but we hold on to it. Hmm, wait a minute. Is that a good idea? That's a mess. And we hold on to this mess and it drives us crazy to the point where we become sick. So if you don't like what you're hearing, listen to me. You know, and I know, and you know that I know, and I know that you know. What does not good for me? I'm going to let it. Does it make sense or is it too far for you? Amen? See, you cannot allow people to put you down in captivity. Amen? You cannot allow people to put you down in bondage. You cannot allow that any longer. Today I say to you, draw a line in the dirt and say, look, that's it. That's enough. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all that you've done. But right here now, it's enough, okay? in the sand. And you begin to get your peace back. Because people are going to want to take away your peace, your joy, your comfort. Don't let them do it anymore. Draw a line in the sand and say enough is enough. They know that you're hurting and once you're hurting, they're going to hurt you more. When you tell the devil is a liar today, devil, you're a liar. Satan, you're a liar. The blood of Jesus is against you. You ain't going to hurt me no more.